Hi everybody, Mike Avalar from Avalar Home Inspection Inc. And today I'm going to talk about electricity. Electricity has become an important part of every element in every single North American home. It provides lighting, heating, power for electric motors, electronics such as controls and computers. Our homes would not be nearly as comfortable as they are now if we didn't have electricity. Where does electricity come from? We generate it from dams, we generate it from nuclear power reactors, we generate it from fossil fuels, and hopefully in the very near future we will be producing much of it from solar technologies. Electricity is distributed through communities by a grid of overhead or underground wires. Electricity can be alternating current or direct current, best known as AC-DC. For the time being, we're going to talk about alternate current, which is what we find here in most North American homes. For starters, I'm going to give you a brief description of four common electrical terms, and I'm going to give you some mathematical formulas, which I will post maybe over here, or maybe over here. The first one we have is V, voltage. Measured in volts, it represents the electrical force that is available. I is current. It measures the amperes. This represents the amount of electricity flowing. Now, amps are very dangerous, and I will touch base on that a little later. R is for resistance, measured in ohms. This is the measure of the opposition to electrical flow. The resistance is the material that the electrons are traveling through. P is power, measured in watts. One kilowatt is a thousand watts, and this represents the rate at which work is done. So I hope you enjoyed that very brief, brief overview of electricity. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and share. Thank you very much and have yourself a wonderful day.